Hello, I'm Jan and uh, I want to just explain to you uh, and give you a few tips about from 13, 14 weeks of pregnancy. I have a company called Motherly Love and what I'm going to describe uh, for each oil is specifically for a minor problem or uh, a discomfort in pregnancy, but sometimes those kind of really are hard on ladies anyway. So uh, I'm going to talk about stretch mark oil. You can use this from 13, 14 weeks of pregnancy. And it's great if you look on the, there's always ingredients somewhere on the label for uh, the natural skincare and also for other products. If you see on there the ingredients, it says petroleum based or from paraffin, it, that's fine for baby's bottoms because it's more like a barrier cream and you want something natural and that will, natural oils will absorb into the skin. They won't use leave an oil slick, which the, the mineral-based oils do. So with natural oils absorbing into your skin, you get a natural elasticity and give as baby grows. Very difficult to actually say everything is going to stop stretch marks, but you want to help at least reduce the stretch marks. And this helps when you get to the third trimester uh, you often feel very itchy if you're using the wrong products or not using products at all because your skin is stretching and it's kind of the cells are bursting. So what you need to do is use a good natural oil and it'll just help that itchiness. This is itchiness on the tummy or your bump, nowhere else. That's what you use for it. This... There's jojoba and there's um, jojoba and apricot oil in there. And they're full of omegas and vitamins. So they're very nourishing and hydrating, moisturizing as well for, for your skin. This is a big bottle of uh, the oil. And there's a minute, because you've got what I call a pregnant nose and you can smell everything, you need, need fragrances that you really like in pregnancy. And the lime is really, really popular. It's, it's uplifting. It's great if you feel tired, if you're anxious or stressed because it gives you a lift. And if you feel sick or ever feel just a bit sicky, it's great for nausea. Lime is fantastic for all those. And it's in a small quantity, which is safe, for both you and your baby as well, which is so important. The tip I'd like to give with this oil is, as the baby is growing, I think from like he's going into the second trimester, 26, 27 weeks on when the baby's moving, get used to your baby's movements. And they're specifically, every baby will be different. And they're specifically, your, the movements are for your you to kind of just check on when you get out of the bath, have a talk to the baby, and as you put on the oil. When you use it after the, the shower bath, it's important that you just check on the baby's movement from then. It gives you kind of, oh, I'll look after that baby. We'll just kind of think how the baby's going. So if, if the baby's movements are reduced and you're worried at all, you phone the maternity unit or your own midwife. That's so important to know. Okay, and it's singing and also just talking to your baby. The baby will hear you. And I've delivered babies afterwards. And when I was checking the baby, um, just kind of all over after delivering the baby, and I've got the, the parents sitting there and when they start talking, the baby recognises the parents ba uh, talking, uh, the voice, and often, not all the time, but often will look, turn around to them because they know the voice. I think it's great. Anyway, there you go. This is this is a hundred and fifty mil, seventy five mil bottle, and we get a, a little tiny one, which is for testers or sample. Lovely talking to you. Bye-bye.